And the Israel Hamas war continues to escalate, with the situation in Gaza rapidly worsening as we speak. Gazans are staring at a growing humanitarian crisis as Israel keeps up with its withering barrage of airstrikes on the most densely populated strip in the world. Footage released by the Israeli military showed soldiers retaking a military base near the border with Gaza. The base had been overrun by Hamas militants earlier and the Israeli soldiers detained several Hamas militants while retaking the Sufa outpost military base. As per the reports, forces from the army's Shahi Tate 13 unit faced dozens of Hamas militants during a battle which lasted several hours. The Israeli forces captured several Hamas militants and rescued hostages that were being held by the militants there. Meanwhile in Gaza, an eyewitness video captured the aftermath of a strike inside Gaza. The paramedics and volunteers helped injured people and pulled bodies from the rubble. The footage marks the location as the Beit Lahaya residential neighborhood in the north of Gaza. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza continues to spiral as we speak, while the entire blocks were wiped out by Israeli missiles under the complete siege of Gaza. Grow for Gaza's 2.4 million people after Israel cut off food, water and power supplies. As you can see, chaotic scenes continue to emerge from Al Shifa Hospital. Al Shifa Hospital is the largest in Gaza, and there is an uninterrupted stream of ambulances. Well, the International Red Cross has also flagged this crisis and said that hospitals will turn into morgues if humanitarian aid is denied to Gaza. And as we continue our rolling coverage of the Israel-Hamas conflict, we bring you live visuals from the Gaza Strip. A week into the conflict now, you can see the skyline of the Gaza Strip and, and maybe some plumes of smoke emerging from the buildings there. While the Strip is under heavy bombing from the Israeli side, according to Israeli Defense Forces, a total of 6,000 bombs have pounded Gaza since Saturday. These are live visuals from the Gaza Strip and we will continue getting you these visuals from Gaza throughout our coverage today. And now, a journalist in Gaza tells us how the people are dealing after the only power plant in Gaza ran out of fuel. Take a listen. Hey guys, today is the fifth day of the attacks on Gaza. And the situation back home right now is terrible because they uh, cut electricity entirely. The fuel ran out, so the company that powers Gaza is not running anymore. People do not have Wi-Fi. For example, my parents do not have Wi-Fi access anymore. I can only call them cellularly, so I had to get a SIM card to call International. I think something to note now that we're on the fifth day of the attacks is that because the mainstream media is waging a very dirty war against Palestinians and spreading misinformation, and because there is no integrity in reporting, Palestinians have had to become the reporters, which we have done for many years, but this time it's even harder and harder to be someone who is not a journalist picking up the camera and making videos of what it's like right now. Um, 